about time. You think you can come here, become a daddy, get a clean slate? That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. As a complete beginner who is into game development, the probability of you going to look for character models on the internet is very high. A simple Google search will no doubt show you tons of apps, websites and certainly Mixamo will show up as well. The name is kinda weird so I'm pretty sure you would be concerned as to what it does and if really it can be of real importance to your game development. So now what is Mixamo? Mixamo is an online database for characters and mocap animations that anyone can access to be used in art projects, movies and games. It is an extremely user-friendly program aimed at people with little to no experience in creating and animating characters. This by no means makes it basic piece of software because it can do a lot. Mixamo is free but maybe one might be wondering so if it's free then what's the catch? Firstly, Mixamo is owned by Adobe and so it's easier to conclude they have the ability to provide such a service. Secondly, it's compulsory to sign up for a free account so I guess the trade-off is Adobe getting you on their platform so they can market other products to you which is a very cheap price to pay if you should ask me. Other than that, there is no catch. Mixamo can be used on both personal and commercial projects. As Adobe continues to build more into Mixamo, there is always a chance they may charge for it in future. But they have been providing the service free of charge for years now so hopefully that brings you some sort of comfort. Mixamo supports mostly all game engines including Unreal Engine and Unity. With Mixamo, you simply download an FBX file which is a standard 3D model format that has a character fully rigged, textured and animated. It also supports most 3D programs including Blender, Maya, ZBrush and Substance Painter which is also a bonus. In case you are still wondering what Mixamo is used for, well, the software is focused solely on three main functions, character modeling, animation and auto rigging. To make it easier for you to understand, let me pick them one by one and explain. So one which is character modeling. Mixamo has a moderate selection of optimized game models that are rigged and ready to be animated. This is my personal take. Mixamo's character models are only great for placeholders while you create your game. Yet given the fact that they are only a limited amount with thousands of people having access to them, they are not unique enough for commercial use. I hope you understand this. I still don't understand the main reason behind Adobe killing Fuse because Adobe Fuse was the main program to deal with this issue. Fuse worked as a character creator but for some reason the program was discontinued within a short while. You may still have access to Fuse but be aware Adobe no longer provides support for this anymore. My number 2 is going to be mocap animations. Mixamo has a large library of mocap animations and can be accessed for free. This combined with the auto rigger is where Mixamo gains its value. The library of mocap animation is a great resource. Downloading and using these already made animations brings some type of simplicity and ease of use to your workflow. Mixamo presents you with various movement animations ranging from walk, run, side strap and run backwards. Everything you might need to blend animations together to create convincing movement animations for games. Now let's talk about its auto rigging too. This is where Mixamo really shines. We all know their library of models are limited. Let's not speak on that again because the awesome thing here is that you can source and upload your own 3D game models and use their tools to auto rig them and bring them back into your project. Most people hate rigging because they claim it's difficult. I thought so in the beginning but the more you move through the 3D animation pipeline one after the other, the more you come to realize all the steps are equally difficult. If you think there is an easier step in the 3D animation process, kindly leave it in the description below. For those of you who just jumped into 3D and have no idea what rigging is or have never tried it, well, rigging is basically the skeleton of your mesh. This skeleton dictates how your mesh will deform. In this case, if you move the skeleton piece, the mesh moves with it. This is what is required for animations since animation is just a set of directions on how a skeleton should move. Rigging is very stressful and for Mixamo to bring features that works perfectly as these, I guess it's a lifesaver. 
The best part is once you have rigged your character, you can then apply the mocap animations to your model. It is really easy to do. You simply upload the mesh and drag the circles to where the rigger tells you. After that, Mixamo will do its own thing and with a little luck, it should work like magic. Before I speak on the good and bad sides of using Mixamo, I would like to read this article I read on giscafe.com which spoke on Mixamo's support for human IK rigs in Autodesk Maya. And I read, Using an FBI key rig based on Autodesk Human IK technology, Maya software users can now apply any animation in Mixamo's online collection directly onto their FBI key control rig. Consequently, Maya FBI key users can now animate their characters more efficiently than previously possible. Furthermore, because the control rig is preserved, users can make additional keyframe adjustments to their applied animations. With these advancements, Mixamo can help significantly reduce the time it takes to create high quality animations using Maya software. Mixamo provides animators, game artists, and 3D professionals an improved character animation pipeline that fits seamlessly into their existing 3D projects. Users simply upload their own FBIK red character into Mixamo and select and customize animations from an extensive production quality collection, which are then automatically applied onto their character. Finally, users can download the animations and import back into their Maya scenes. This improved workflow results in significant time and cost savings. This is great. If you want to read the whole article, you can check out the link in my description below. Now to the good and bad side of using Mixamo. One good side to using Mixamo will be add or edit Mixamo animations. Mixamo is very flexible. Any character you rigged within Mixamo can be exported into other 3D programs such as Blender or Maya. You can create and edit animations to be exported into a game engine as well. Another good side will be editing Mixamo models. Mixamo models can be exported into other programs such as Blender, Substance Painter or ZBrush for customization. If you need to re-import them back into Mixamo and re-rig them, that is also possible. My number 3 good side will be animation sets locked to one model. Mixamo's set of animations aren't locked to one model. The awesome part is you can perform what is referred to as retargeting. This allows you to apply the same animations to all the models that have a Mixamo created rig. This is really handy and a huge time saver. The fourth good side is Mixamo's library update. Everybody knows that Adobe is always on top of its game when it comes to updating and keeping their library of animations up to date. Besides, Adobe doesn't seem to be redrawing its support for Mixamo like they did to Fuse anytime soon. There is one downside to Mixamo based on what it was developed to do. As a 3D artist, you should know you wouldn't find everything you want functioning perfectly within a single software. Mixamo is no exception and one of them is their rigging tool is not optimized for animal movement. In fact, their library has no animations available for that. In conclusion, I would say Mixamo is a tool that does a lot of good to absolute beginners. It's really easy to use. I highly recommend Mixamo to experts who work within pipelines since it has flexible import and export options. Just play with it, get used to it and you would appreciate the speed it brings to your rigging and animation workflow. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace out.